Today's story is Wonderful Junk. Okay, Hazel, shh. Let's see if I can hold this camera and the book. Jeremiah, the auctioneer, knew that everything could be used for something. At farm sales, he sold things as small as china cups and as large as rusty tractors. Jeremiah tried to get people to pay high prices for useful objects because that was his job. However, Jeremiah never paid money for anything himself if he could help it. Instead, he liked to trade. He'd been collecting things to trade for many years. Some people thought he owned too much junk, but he knew it was all good, useful stuff. Jeremiah, with his cat and his hen, rode to farm sales in an old truck with broken taillights. Sometimes his niece Charlotte came too. She liked collecting things better than being at school or learning to bake pies or almost anything else. When I grow up, she told Jeremiah, I'm going to have as much stuff as you do. One day, the wipers wouldn't work. And Jeremiah and Charlotte and the animals had to wait hours in the rain to stop. For the rain to stop. On another day, the truck made a clattering noise and wouldn't move. Jeremiah, Charlotte, and the animals had to walk to the auction. Jeremiah decided that he didn't like trucks. He thought it would look more dignified riding to auctions on a strong horse. The problem was that horses cost money. I got it. Jeremiah puzzled over this, but he finally cried. That's it! I'll trade for a horse. Charlotte thought this was a wonderful idea. She loved horses. When you're not using it, can I borrow it to ride to school? She asked Jeremiah. For days, Jeremiah wondered what to trade. It wasn't just any old thing you could use to get a horse. Finally, he lifted one arm, spun around with his eyes closed, and pointed at a ship inside a bottle. Hmm, this seems like a funny thing to trade for a horse, said Jeremiah. Still, everything has a use. He dusted it off and set out. Sophie skidded to a stop beside him and gazed at the bottle. Dear Jeremiah, this would make the perfect present for my dad's birthday. Jeremiah reckoned that Sophie's bike would make looking for a horse much faster. Sophie, he said solemnly, you are welcome to my perfect ship if I may have your old bicycle. Soon Jeremiah began to think that the bike hadn't been such a good trade. It had crooked handlebars and after a mile the chain fell off. Charlotte came skipping after Jeremiah. Wait for me, she called. I want to come too. Thomas the blacksmith was stoking his fire. Come in and pull up a stool, he shouted as Jeremiah trudged by with Charlotte. It looks like you're low on scrap metal, Thomas, said Jeremiah. How would you like this old bicycle? Just the thing, agreed Thomas. I'll trade that bar bridle hanging by the door. Jeremiah thought a bridle was a good thing to own when a man was looking for a horse. Charlotte hung it over her shoulders and pretended to be a famous show jumper. Elmer, the miller, was folding sacks. What are you doing with that bridle, he called. It looks like what I need for my wagon horse. I might need it myself, replied Jeremiah. I'm searching for a horse. Well, in that case, you'll need some oats, said Elmer. I'll trade you a big bag of oats for your bridle. Jeremiah thought this was an excellent idea. Done, he said.
Lily, the truck driver, was having problems. Get in, she shouted, but the cow only waved her crooked horn. When Charlotte and Jeremiah came by, Lily called, Help! Give me your bag of oats or I'll never get this cow into the truck. These oats are for Jeremiah's horse, said Charlotte. Oh, please, cried Lily. I'll trade you the best hammer in my toolbox. She knew that Jeremiah could never resist a trade like that. Nathaniel the boat builder was staring gloomily at his broken hammer and unfinished boat when Jeremiah and Charlotte came into the yard. I guess that's the boat yard. I have just what you need, Jeremiah exclaimed. What will you give me for this hammer? How about three cans of paint all half full, asked Nathaniel. Shh! Gloria, the artist, sat on her doorstep. Why do you look so sad, asked Charlotte. I haven't sold a picture all week, Gloria explained. Now I have no paint left and no money to buy more. What you need is an advertisement to attract city folk with money in their pockets, said Jeremiah. With my paint, you could do a mural on your house so people will notice it. What a wonderful idea, said Gloria. I'll trade you a painting for three cans of paint. As Jeremiah whistled away, Gloria began painting sunflowers right on her house. That's nice. Trying to get all the picture in the camera. Jeremiah and Charlotte were both hungry. They clomped up the steps into Martha's general store. Just looking at all the stuff inside made them feel better. And Jeremiah smelled stew cooking. He loved stew. This painting is just what you need to cheer the place up, he told Martha. Do you have any lunch for us? Out in the sunshine, they sat down to see what Martha had given them. Yuck, said Charlotte. Shrimp sandwiches. Ugh, Jeremiah hated shrimp too. He wished he still had his ship in a bottle. Nobody could trade sandwiches for a horse. Besides, he had blisters on his heels. Maybe he should give up and go home. Maybe trading for a horse was impossible. Zeke the potter was hungry again. His hands were always too dirty to do any cooking. Have some shrimp sandwiches, said Jeremiah, limping into the pottery with Charlotte. The sandwiches made Zeke so happy that he took his most beautiful bowl and handed it to Charlotte. It was blue with a white bird. It's a present for you, he said. Samuel the preacher sat in the shade dreaming about his new car. That bull, he exclaimed, it's just what I need for the baptismal font. You can have this bull, said Charlotte, if you have anything to trade me for it. She winked at Jeremiah. Well, mused Samuel, I have some old books, or my wife has a lamp she doesn't want. No, said Charlotte, this bull is too good to trade for things like that. What else have you got? Actually, she said, what else do you have? I have a new car, but I'm not trading that. I have a quiet horse I don't need anymore. Did you say horse? asked Jeremiah. A horse would be just right. He was hoping for a horse. And it was. Ah, he ended up with a horse after all. Isn't that great?